All right, we are here with the lead in Hamilton, Julius Thomas III, who is uh, currently performing in Denver at the Denver Center for the Performing Arts. Julius, first of all, thank you so much for joining us here on CBS News Colorado. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me, and I'm excited. So real quick, speaking of excited, everybody <laughs> is always excited when they hear Hamilton is coming to town. It's not just here in Denver. What is it about the show from your perspective that's really capturing the audience, especially here in Colorado? Oh, that's a good question. I think for different people, it's different things. For a certain group of people, it's nostalgia. It's hearing music that they have grown up with and uh, sort of homage to the music that they have loved m most of their lives. For many, it's the musical theater element where we are sort of revamping and reshaping the musical world. And for others, it's sort of um, a, a reshape of history just getting history out in a way that is more interesting and more fun to learn. So sort of uh, spans the, the, the whole plethora of people. And you were just talking about reshaping the way we see musicals and theater. And I had the opportunity to see you on stage. You did fantastic the other night. Uh, real quick, explain for me how unique it is, especially during Black History Month, to have a performance that's about historically white characters being performed by an incredible cast of mostly Black men and women. Yeah, it's really interesting to sort of take this time frame and turn it on its ear. Whenever you see other media about this era, uh, black and brown people are usually only depicted in one way. And so uh, to be able to uh, tell a story like this and to say that I was a, people like me were a part of this time um, and to be able to use every trick in my bag as far as an actor is concerned to do a great role like this is just really wonderful. And especially during Black History Month. And explain for me what you hope young black men and women, or boys and girls, I should say, who are in the audience take away from the performance by seeing people just like them tackling such iconic roles and roles that are so popular on Broadway right now. That's a great question. So um, not only just black and brown folks, but we have such a plethora of people up on stage and in many of the companies, it really looks like walking down the street of America, any town. Um, and I hope what it does is it inspires people that there is a career, a life to be had in art and in theater. I didn't see much of it when I was growing up. I sort of fell into theater in a, in a, um, a very different way than seeing representation. So it's really lovely to be able to be up on stage and show people, oh, if you have this talent, if you can sing, if you can dance, if you can act, if you even have an interest in theater at all, there is a life for you here. There is job opportunities for you, for you here. There is a career for you here. <clears throat> And real quick, for those who haven't had the opportunity to see it because it's such a hot ticket, how would you describe the performance, the show at its core, and what would the takeaway message be at the end? Oh, I would say high energy, fast paced, amazing storytelling with beautiful music and incredible, incredible dancers and movers and actors. Um, so if you like any one of those things, <laughs> we have got you covered in spades. So come on out and see the show because you're gonna love it. And it's very different from the Disney Plus version. Uh, any one person who is different in the show, like when I'm out and someone else is in or when one of the other characters is out for maybe a vacation or something like that, it changes the, the show so drastically that you're seeing a whole new version of Hamilton. So I would say, even if you've seen the Disney Plus version, to come on out and see the live stage version because it is a different experience. And why is it so special that your performance, your theater company is offering those lottery sales to make sure that people who may not be able to afford or have access to those tickets do have an opportunity to still get the same experience. Well, you just said it. I mean, theater should not be, there should not be gatekeepers to theater. Money should not be a thing that keeps you from being able to see art and experience art. We all need art in our lives. Art heals, art changes. Um, that is one of my missions in life is to touch people through music and through song. And money shouldn't be a barrier to that thing. So I really appreciate that these producers have gone out of their way to make sure that tens of thousands of people have been able to see Hamilton for or as low as $10 a pop. That's huge. And it's not something that you see in every show.
Once again, we're with Julius Thomas III here, who is the lead actor in Hamilton in uh, Denver right now. You're an award-winning actor. You've been on many shows given Modern Family, things like Good Morning America, Macy's Parade. What is it that's so special about this show that might take home uh, the cheese when it comes to being uh, quite the title to have? So, well, first of all, it's the biggest ro uh, uh, show in the world. And it's also the biggest role in the biggest show in the world. And it's something that I've been working for for the longest time in my career. Just every show that I've done up to this point, I've been storing tricks in my bags, learning how to do this sort of moment and sing this kind of a song and emote in this kind of way. And it all sort of comes to an arrowhead with Hamilton because it asks of me so much. I mean, we hit the ground running with the very first song and I do not leave the stage almost until the end of the show and the whole time the eyes are on me and it's wonderful and it's also terrifying and it's a huge responsibility and I'm grateful to take it on my shoulders. I know you're pretty limited on time so we'll start to wrap it up for you but when I was at the performance the other night uh, it was the only the second time that I personally have seen an actor on stage with real tears going down their face <laughs> during a scene. Explain to me why this show is still emotional, how you're able to channel that real emotion into the performance, and how are you able to do it even though you've been performing it seemingly daily for a long time now? Yeah, well, I have to credit that to my incredible cast. On days, you know, this is work and it's a job just like anything else. And there are days where I feel it more than I feel it on other days. And there are some days where I just don't want to go to work because that's human. But I can look into the eyes of people all around me and get the, um, the energy that I need, the, uh, the other expressions that I need to come back to me to be able to feed off of. And so I've got a really incredible company that works very hard daily. And so I give them all the props <laughs> and say thank you for helping me to craft this character. Uh, this might be my final question for you. During Black History Month, especially with this show being in town, uh, what do you hope a, a takeaway message is, especially during this month for the audiences and for Colorado as a whole? Black is beautiful. We are a wonderful people with a rich history and a wealth of talents and abilities. And we've contributed so much to the culture of this country. And Hamilton is a show that celebrates that. And so I think that's one of the reasons why it's so important. So come on out and see us if you can. Julius, thank you so much for joining us. And for those who are wanting to still see the show, try and find some tickets anywhere you can. It's going to be in town through March 27th. And I'm pretty sure Julius is going to knock you off your socks every time you might see it. Julius, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Have a good one. You can find more tickets, uh, information on cbsdenver.com and more information about Julius and the show. We'll send it back to you.